Well, welcome, welcome to the kitchen. I'm Peggy, and we have some good recipes today that are easy, fun, good for you, and not all that expensive. So now, how does that sound? I think that's pretty good. And Lisa Marie is here with me. And of course, the name of her business is the Loafing Around Bakery. And it's located in Greer, South Carolina. And she brought all these fun cakes and muffins and goodies and bread and Banana all that. Bread pudding and oh. cake rolls. Just showing you some of the things that we do. Homemade fudge out there on the front and of the table. We make a little candy really as well. Really top grade We use ingredients. quality ingredients. Yeah. We try to uh, stay with all natural as close as we can yeah. within the bakery. Yeah. And then we yeah. do custom work. Folks need birthday cakes or they need, uh, they've got company they coming and they need help with catering that meal. We okay. do that as well. We do everything okay. from a small dinner for two all the way up to a wedding for 250 people. We do we do it all. Well, it looks good and I want everybody to see it. But you brought something, one fish, two dish. Yes. I like that. We, we, uh, we have salmon is, is okay. the fish of, of the day today. And I wanted to offer two options. Some folks, you know, they're stew people. They like soups. Yeah. So we're gonna do a salmon stew. And then um, I've got a simple marinade for salmon okay. that you can cook on, on the stove top in a pan or you could put it on a grill or you could even put it in the oven and bake okay. it. It's a very, so very any way flexible you recipe. Do it. Right, the basic whatever is easiest there. for you to do. Okay, okay. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix up the marinade. We're gonna let the salmon just sit and, and marinate in this bag. Salmon nowadays comes in these wonderful little pre-served packets. They've already skinned it. So there's, you know, it's, it's, it's even easier to use than it used to be. Um, especially for our recipes. So what I'm gonna do first is, in the Ziploc, I'm gonna put um, about a third of a here. cup of uh, brown sugar. Oh, here, and you know, brown sugar's it. kinda sticky. I can hold so. it open. Oh, that'd here. be great. Okay. There we go, we're just gonna put about a third of a cup down in there. And what we'll do is we'll, we'll mix this all together right in the bag. I'm gonna put in a third of a cup of water. Now, you know, in my business, now, everything- That looks dangerous. This is soy sauce. <laughs> Our soy sauce comes in, in five gallon containers, and rather than bring that whole five gallons, I just poured some Look, into it. At them. home, if you have some soy right, sauce. Right, just regular old soy how sauce. Much? About a third of a cup. So and it's you know, a third of a cup of everything. Third of a cup of everything, and we're gonna put a little oil in it too. Also about a third of a cup. And you know, I don't, I don't, I don't, I, I don't measure. I just I eyeball you know, till it looks cooks, right. A lot of times they don't measure. They just kind of. You can measure it, and the recipe that I, that you would write in for yeah. has the actual Everything. ingredients. This well, is garlic see. powder, just some garlic powder to give it a little flavor. Ooh. So we've got soy and garlic, and then we're going to put in some lemon pepper. You could use lemon juice and pepper okay. if you have that, but I have this at home sitting on the counter. So I just eyeball it about a tablespoon. You could do more or less to taste. And then what we'll and do is... And I guess is, if you didn't want the garlic, you could leave it out. Exactly. Somebody doesn't really like it. Or onion powder, you could put that in okay. instead. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close the zip top. And we're going to let that air help us that's in there. And we're just going to mix it up. Even less dishes to so wash, Peggy. that way you Peggy. don't have a bowl to wash. Right. That's right. Because we're going to take it out, we're going to fry it up, and then put it on a plate and serve it. I have opened, if you'll hold that for oh, me. yeah. I have opened up these little packets of salmon that they have at the store. And it's uh, that would this be is like one wild serving. caught salmon, and it comes pre-proportioned. So we're gonna the the recipe when you write in for it calls for one and a half pounds of salmon. That's about four of these. These these weigh each about six ounces, which is a heart healthy portion of fish. Yeah. You don't want to have so much, you know, fish that that that. that it takes your whole plate. You know, we, we talk all these these times about how portion control is important in our diet and. By having it pre-portioned out, not only do you not have to cut it, but you don't have to, um, let me wipe my hey, fingers there. To, We're gonna oh, zip. You don't put anything else in there. Not gonna oh, put anything okay. else in there. Gonna squeeze out the extra air. And then we're just gonna kinda shake it around a little bit. And if we were at home, We'd stick this in the refrigerator for about say, two you, hours. You, oh, you could even do it the night before. Do it the night before. Leave it in the refrigerator and then all just, night. Right, just stick, stick it in a bowl and let it sit all night long. And we're gonna we're gonna let it sit and marinate while we all start right. the stew. All right. Because it takes about um, the stew itself from start to finish takes about 15, 20 minutes, and then to cook salmon by the slice on the grill in the pan or in the oven takes about 10 minutes. So I figure we'd get that marinating and okay. let it get happy okay. while we start our our stew here. I've got a little bacon grease in the pot. I cooked up about two ounces of bacon. I just crisped it up so I could get that flavor because that flavor is what makes the salmon stew 
so yummy. Now, a lot of times so when you... So that's what you have in here. Isn't right. It? it isn't very much. It's not very much at all. It's a nonstick pot. Yeah. So you don't need much, and it'll give us the flavor that we're looking for. I've got two bunches of scallions, and I like to cut them on the bias. It makes for a pretty presentation. And we're going to cut all but a couple handfuls, because um, we'll use the handfuls for garnish on the top of the soup, excuse me, when we serve it. So I'm just going to set that aside. We're going to put these sc the scallions right down here in this pot and let them start cooking. And once they start cooking, we're going to add in some corn, and we're going to add in some garlic and some seasonings that give it flavor. And we're going to use some um, whole milk and canned milk instead of oh, really? flour. Oh, right. Um, just okay. evaporated milk, because evaporated milk has <clears throat> less fat than whipping cream. It's now, this the, is just starting. Is that yes, all right? Yes, it is. Yes, it's going. We're going we're gonna to let it get going here. I'm going to bump that heat up a little more. It should start here in just a second to really cook and then once it really starts we're going to add in the corn and we'll add in some garlic and some seasoning and get it going. Now it's starting. There we go. Now so you can hear it. Mm -hmm. It's talking to us. So we're going to add in um, three cloves of finely chopped garlic or about one tablespoon. We're going to add in a cup of corn. And I'm going to... Can you use... Uh, Canned or frozen or does Either it matter? Either one or fresh, cut off the cob. I'll let you start stirring those for me if you would, ma'am. We're going to add... Um, oh, it smells good. Mm. If you have fresh thyme in your garden growing, thyme stays green year round. Mm -hmm. um, we had some work done, so my whole herb garden, I have to start over got. this year. But So I picked up some, some thyme. And one teaspoon of fresh equals one tablespoon of dried. Okay. So we're going to put a tablespoon in or a teaspoon of fresh. Fish loves thyme. Fish also um, loves uh, I love bay the smell leaf. Time. I, I love do too. It. Mm, it's good. We're going to put one bay leaf, one small bay leaf in. I'm going to go ahead and let that start. And the reason we're putting it in before we add everything else is so it can start heating up. When you heat up the herbs with the oil, it releases the natural oils in the herbs so that they have more flavor. You'll get more of the flavor into your food as opposed to. Um, it's staying in the dried herb itself. Um, missed that guy. Okay, okay I'm going to put in um, an eighth of a teaspoon, which is a pinch, of crushed red pepper. Oh. So it's got a little heat to it. You can leave this out. You know, just, just do it to, to taste. Give it a little pizzazz. A little, a little zing in the background, if okay. you will. Okay. Um, and that that helps it have the the. It brings out the flavor of the other herbs, believe it or not. It's like salt and pepper. It's a complementary spice. It's not okay. there to take over the whole dish. Um, we're going to add uh, three cups of milk. And I just picked up local milk. This is actually four. This seems four. like such a strange combination. It'll all come milk together. In there. It's a chowder. Or it's okay. a stew. We're going to add potatoes okay. as well. So okay. I'm going to go ahead and turn the heat down some. Yeah, we better. And and we're she's gonna, not going to measure that, but you want three cups. You want three cups. <laughs> okay. We'll peek down in the jar there and see how much we've got left. Now that's, that's about, whole milk. That's isn't whole milk. It? You, don't, you can yeah. use whatever milk you, you have. Could? Milk is milk. And if you're on a, if you're on a, if you're watching your calories and you're watching your fat grams, you could use fat-free okay. milk. Um, okay. It'll be just a little bit thinner soup. I'm also going to put in one can evaporated milk instead of cream. If you were going to use heavy okay. whipping cream, you'd use two thirds of a cup. And I love heavy whipping cream. I cook with it all the time in the bakery. We use it for all kinds of stuff. But. I don't need to eat it all the time. So mm -hmm. I, that's why I suggest the evaporated milk because it is a great substitute. Now I know that's looking kind of funny there. You're thinking, hmm, that's not really much of a soup, but we're getting ready to put the real good stuff into it. I'm gonna add um, some pre-cooked diced red potatoes. And I cooked these last night because trying to cook them all on the Yeah, and you left, TV, of course, you leave the peeling on. That's what makes them so yeah. wonderful. That's where yeah. the nutrition is and in the potato. How much is that, three? That's about two cups, two to three cups. It's a little okay. less than two cups, and I'm just gonna Get it out here so it doesn't splash. I'm going to kind of let it lay in gently. We're going to stir that in. And then I'm going to cut these salmon filet into cubes. And the beautiful thing about these filet being pre-skinned is we don't have to get our knife under it and skin them ourselves. It. Right. No. It's so easy to cut. So I'm just going to chunk them into cubes. 
So you actually, oh, that makes it easy. Now, this would serve what? probably three, four people, and it doubles beautifully. You could triple it. You know, if you okay. the, the bigger your group or the smaller your group, you can even cut it in half and go smaller with it. Um, so I'm just going to cut these into what I like to think of as bite-sized pieces here, about an inch square. Now, if you go to your fishmonger and he has salmon with the fish on it is at a fish place, they'll take it off for you. If you go to your store and you end up with salmon at home, you would lay your salmon flat, skin side against the cutting board. Keep your hand flat so you don't cut yourself and you would run your knife between the salmon and the oh. skin. That's why I like these prepackaged because they're already made. They're already skinned. Um, so I'm going to drop those in there and we're just going to let it simmer for a few minutes and we'll check it in just a little bit to uh... Okay, now, if what would you serve this with? This? I would serve it with a big hunk of homemade bread, some homemade garlic toast, or a roll, a salad on the side would be good. You have a full meal. You could have a full meal, yes. Yes, it's got a protein, it's got a dairy, it's got vegetables. So it actually by itself is a complete dish. Um, you could add other vegetables to it if you didn't want to use scallions and you wanted to use celery and onion, you could use that if you wanted to use um, a different kind of potato instead of red potato because all you have is white potatoes, that would work. It's a very flexible dish. You know, I, I try so to design use things. Use your that, imagination. And in what other you words. have in your pantry. You know, if you only have broccoli florets in the freezer, throw, you them, in. throw them in. Exactly. Okay. Right, um, I'm with you. It's, it's very flexible as far as what okay. you can do. Now we are going to take a break while this is heating up, okay? And if you would like this, we, Lisa Marie is so sweet and she's brought all of this out here. All you have to do, if you can send us that self-addressed stamped envelope to the Peggy Denny Show, Post Office Box 1616, Greenville, South Carolina, 29602. And the number is 775. Now that's wow. an easy one to remember. Number 775. One fish, two fish. And for this time of year, it's perfect. So if you'd like these, or you can click on PeggyDenny.com, and there they are. And we're happy to share with you. And these are wholesome. They're not terribly expensive. And you see how easy it is. We'll be right back. Welcome back to our kitchen. And Lisa Marie is with me. And while this fish stew, I, it's called one fish, two dish, simple salmon recipes. And while this is cooking, you have something else you're going to do. Right. Also using salmon. Now this is the marinade. Now if you, if you did this at home, you'd want it to marinate. At least could, two hours. Yeah, at least two hours. And if you're busy, you could do it the evening before and leave it in the refrigerator or that morning and, leave, and use it that evening and overnight. it would be okay. Yes, this dish actually the, the, that we're getting ready to do, you can marinate it overnight and then when you get home from work or at it's lunchtime ready. the next time when it's ready. The salmon stew, we could, you could actually do in the crock pot. You would throw everything in the crock pot and then, oh, and then let it that's sit nice. and slow cook. So when you get home, it's already ready. All you have to do is make the cornbread or heat the toast. I'm going to put this in here. I put the lid on it so it come up top since we switched burners. That way you can come and kind of stir it as it, as it okay. cooks and keep an eye on the fish. Um, it doesn't take but about 10 minutes for that dish to finish up from start to finish. And it's really cooking. So. It doesn't have um, a lot of complicated, long cooking ingredients in it. So it doesn't that, take long. Is that too uh, hot? No, it'll, it's, it's just now, it's, we want it to kind of simmer. You want it to simmer okay. for about 8 to 10 right. minutes and then we'll okay. turn it off, which will be about right. the time we finish okay. this dish. All right. Now earlier I put in the brown sugar, the uh, soy sauce, the water, vegetable oil, a little lemon pepper, and some granulated garlic. So there and we it just is. mixed it up. And we, we're going to pretend like it's been two hours. Okay. <laughs> By the magic of TV, I'm going to put a little bit of oil in the pan. Not a whole lot, but just a little to give it uh, a little more slipability. It's, the, it's a nonstick pan. This is vegetable oil. This is vegetable oil. Um, my, I actually use a vegetable canola blend. Um, there there's go. new studies coming out on canola oil where you should have it mixed with other oils. So, um, and you can see that as we start, That's as that starts not, to cook, yeah. the, as the salmon itself starts to cook, it'll start flaking apart so it won't stay in those great big chunks. It'll be spread throughout the soup. Now what we're going to do is 
We're going to pull out one of these guys. That, and the reason you marinate it with a little oil is because if you do cook it in your on your grill, you don't want the oil to you don't want it to stick, and it's going to make a little splash. Do not get burned, okay. please. Yeah, you're right. Woo. <laughs> you know, it's there it's cooking. Go. That's what we do. We cook. There we go. And I've got two more. We'll squeeze those out in just a minute. So this would be for four people, but right, right. Actually, we would do it for that, four. that is ample. It is. Because we get too much food. When you go to a restaurant and they, you order something, they bring you so much food, I'd rather pay less and have less. Exactly. We don't, we don't need as much um, as we eat. That, that's true. A, a good serving of meat protein is four to six ounces. Six ounces for fish and chicken oh, it's right. and four a ounces for red beef. A, a it's the size of the square of the palm of your hand and yeah. just as thick. Yeah. You know, three quarters yeah. of an inch. Now to cook fish, mm, you know, folks good. say I don't know how long to cook it. I never know, and I'm always afraid I'm going to overcook it. So what I tell them is, it takes about eight inches per inch of fish. So these are kind of thin. So they'll cook in about six minutes, maybe, maybe eight minutes. We'll yeah. flip them over in a couple of yeah. minutes. Yeah. We'll be able to see. I don't know if the guys can get it on the camera or not, yeah. but. As, as the fish cooks, it's going to change color. And when that color gets halfway up, we'll flip it over. Because you, you and I can see it from and our side course, here. You know, if, uh, if you wanted to, you could very easily do this on a grill. Or you could put the marinated pieces in a grill, in, in, in an oil in pan. A, in a pan and put it in an oven. In the oven at 350 for about 15 minutes yeah, at so the most. You at the most. Go wrong. No, it's, it's really a fast cooking dish. See, and even that salmon in there is starting to cook up and, and break apart as you stir it. Um, it's looking more and more like cooked salmon. Mm. So, okay. so one of the benefits of eating fish, you should eat fish at least twice a week. Um, not more than, but at least twice a week, or up to twice a week, I should say. Omega-3s, it's got a lot of oil for your brain. That's good food for your brain. Um, it's good for your liver and your kidneys. It helps their function and function better. Fish itself has a lot of trace nutrients in it, like um, magnesium and zinc. These are things that we hear all the time in the news. We should be putting them into our diet. Well, this is one way to do it without having to swallow a supplement. Um, fish by itself, you can. There's millions of things you could do with fish. You could take this and plate it like I'm doing with uh, okay. with some rice pilaf and some green beans, or you could uh, make a, a, a salmon. Um, salmon like puree out of it, chop it up real fine, mix it with a little herbs and mayonnaise and put it on uh, on a sandwich or on toast. I don't know if they can see it or not, but the, the color has started to change here. See how it's coming mm -hmm. halfway up? It's mm -hmm. time to flip the fish. All right. Fast. Fast food, yeah, right? I'll hold it. Okay, let me spin it this way okay. so I don't burn you. That's hot. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. That's nice. That gives us that nice color. Now, this is an Asian style marinade. If you didn't want to have Asian and you wanted a different flavor, you could um, use Italian dressing and that would give you an Italian flavor to your fish. Um, you could use um, just uh, some, add some to the same marinade. If you wanted it even more Asian, you could add some ginger and some uh, wasabi, a little bit of wasabi powder to it to give it some heat and serve it uh, uh, with rice noodles. Um, or get some of those egg rolls that you can pick up at the deli and bring home and heat up mm -hmm. and have a Chinese style meal with the, with the Asian style fish. So um, just use your imagination. Use your imagination. And what's cooking out here is the, um, the oils in the fish. That's what we're seeing come out of the side. And, and it's good that it does that. That lets us know the fish is starting to cook all the way through. And, um, so good, this, what do you figure? This doesn't take long at all. With no, ten maybe, minutes, maybe ten minutes tops for the whole for all four pieces, which we'll have time to do two more before okay. the show is over, yeah. and by then the soup will be ready to serve as well. Now I'm keeping an eye on this. See how it's starting to thicken up a little bit as it cooks, and it's uh, that's because the potato starch is releasing into the soup. Now those potatoes, of course, were pre pre cooked. Oh, you they, boil those and and cut them in little boil, bite sized pieces. I boiled pieces. them last night. Right, I cut them yeah. into, I cut them into bite sized yeah. pieces and then I boiled them in water them ten in minutes there. for ten minutes and then I, I strained them out on a colander, ran cold water over them so I could bring them here today to cook. But if you were doing this at home, you just boil them and drain and them you, and then you'd pour them yeah. in. At the you end. have all kinds of baked goods and things that that you. So, we do. We do. We're a custom. We're a custom shop. Um, we are certified chefs. We're qualified to do everything from the entree to the dessert. Uh, I have a 
couple of folks that have had surgeries and haven't been able to cook for their family, so we're doing the meals for them. That's nice. And um, we do everything from breakfast to lunch to dinner to dessert. Everything whatever, in between. Whatever somebody needs. Right. That's it. And when the, uh, when the white now stops I... oozing, that's how one of the fish is done. It's almost finished. Almost. I'm going to use my spatula and pull it away and see if more comes out. If more comes out, then we need to give it a minute more. But it's looking, it's looking like it's done. Look at that, it stopped coming out. See, it's just sitting there. So I'm gonna pull these two out and we're gonna put two more in. Okay. I was talking with some of the crew earlier about uh, sweets and some of the different things that we do. We also cook for diabetics. Uh, and we do a yeah. lot of sugar-free items yeah. as well. And I'm gonna throw these other two in All so right. don't let me burn you. Okay. Because that pan is hot. It is warm. Ooh. There we go. You know, and if you have a bigger pan, of course, at home, use a bigger pan. I just, that's what we use at home, so that's how we do it. I'm keeping and, an eye on this. Yeah. Um, that is actually ready to serve, I do believe. The fish looks like it's cooked all the way through. It's lost its and the, translucency and is more opaque. Yeah, okay. That's it. Whatever you say. Now you've got toast with this. Yeah, just some, I, I, we make bread. Every Wednesday and Friday at the bakery, we make fresh white wheat rye, at rye and multi-grain bread. And you can call us and come by and pick it up. Um, so I, I just used some of our bread and I made garlic toast because that's what we like. Um, now how is that? You know, or you could do just plain toast or you could do toast and butter or toast and jam. Um, this is, this is, go. this is nice. It, it's, it really does have a good it smells fragrance good, to doesn't it. it? Mm -hmm. it smells healthy. Yeah. Um, and fish is very good for you. Now, should I turn that off? Let's go ahead and turn that off. We'll let it start cooling down. Yeah. Um, yeah. But that gives the folks at home an idea of what the, the stew looks like. And um, well, now don't you, you would serve the salmon with the... With the green beans and the rice pilaf. That's a wild rice pilaf that I made. And um, this, so there you have a complete meal. That's a complete meal. You can put the salmon after you cook it. You could put it on a salad if you wanted to and have a, a plate salad. Of greens a plate and of then greens put and put the top. fish on top. little Asian dressing. Um, and an Asian dressing is very easy to make. That's just a little soy sauce, a little uh, sesame oil, a little regular oil whisked into it like a, a, an mm -hmm. olive oil. And mm -hmm. you just keep whisking and a little ginger and garlic. And that's, that's all there is to it. It's that simple. If you wanted to make it a sweet dressing, you could you could add a little brown sugar to it when you were mixing it up. I'm going to flip these over. They're looking. These pieces are thinner than the than the last ones that we cooked. Yeah, you so. sort of have to gauge. If, yeah, you got to watch. If it's a very small piece of salmon, you don't need to. It doesn't take doesn't take long at all. all. You can almost and you tell can watch by looking the store at it. sales when the store sales are are going, and they you know you can buy the fish already frozen, like I had it here. Um, if you watch the sales, you can load up on it and have it, and have it in the freezer for when you need it. That's, um, a, that's a very good idea. Yeah. Now, this, this is, um, these recipes, we're love, we just love sharing with people. And if you would like these, all you have to do, if you can send us that self-addressed stamped envelope, it really does help us. And send it to the Peggy Denny Show, Post Office Box 1616, Greenville, South Carolina, 29602 and we need the number because we have oh, we have hundreds of recipes one of these days we may even get around to putting them all in a book but right now we need the the number and it's 775 recipe number 775 and we'll send it right away or you just click on Peggy Denny and there it is and you can try these with your family they're fun they're easy and a little different they're different and and they're versatile if you don't like salmon, do the same thing with flounder or whiting or perch. Any kind of fish. Any fish it would fit. Would fit this. This you could do this with. You could do this with shrimp. You could do this with scallops. If that you know if that's what if that okay. what if that's what floats your boat. All right. Okay. <laughs> so here it is. One fish, two dish. There we go. Lisa Marie, thank you thank so you. much. And the name, of course, of her company is Loafing Around. Right. Yes, ma'am. Loafing around bakery. <laughs> and she has great baked goods as well. Thank you, Thank so, you much. so much. And wherever you are, stay safe and eat well. We'll see you next time.